Hi, I'm Julie, a fan ballser, and today I want to talk about updating your Scan and Cut VX. So this may seem like it's something that's really complicated to do, but all the instructions are right at your fingertip, and I'm going to show you how to access them from ScanandCut.com. I'm here at ScanandCut.com, and I'm going to click on Support. Now, there are a couple important things that are here. So the first is where it says enter your model number to find your product. So if you're ever looking for information about your product, that's the best thing to do. The other important thing is registering your product. Now, we all wonder why should we do product registration? Are we just going to get spammy email? And the answer is it's really because you want the product updates. If there's new software, they'll let you know. If there's, you know, any sort of new project, product announcements and stuff like that, I always think it's a good idea to register your machine so you know about that. But in the meantime, also down here is, I often say get your supplies at a local brother dealer. So how do you find that? Well, right here, you can locate a dealer or service center. And all you do is when you click on this link, in fact, I'll click on it right now, you can just enter your zip code and it will give you a list of the brother dealers who are near you. And then you can call them and see if they're carrying the supplies that you want. Also, contacting support is super easy. You can see here, you can email, you can call and speak to a live person. Um, and then you can see the support hours for sewing and crafting are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. So all of that is good information. Let us go ahead and enter our model number to find the product. So scan and cut DX. Um, I'm using a 225. So, but whatever your model number is, you would just enter it. So, the first one that I can see here is what I really want. Brother SDX 225 support. So it says find official frequently asked questions, videos, manuals, drivers, and downloads here. This is the answers and technical support you are looking for. And I would say 90% of the questions that I get via email can be answered here. So if you click on that link, you will see there's a picture of your machine just to double check it's the right one. Look at all these frequently asked questions. How to activate this, how to clean the scanner glass, error messages, replacements, all that kind of stuff if you have any questions. If you wanna know what kind of USB cable to, you know, any, any, any questions. But let's focus on how to update the machine's software. So as you can see, there are actually three different ideas here. And these are arrows. So if you just click on them and turn them down, it's like they open it. So the automatic update function, and this is if you're connected to Wi-Fi, you have to be connected for Wi-Fi for this to work, okay? So there'll be a little I that will appear. Um, and if there's no new update file, there is no I. So if you don't see the I right now on your scanning cut, it just means that there is no update file. But if you click on it, Okay, then you'll be taken to this next screen where you can update. When the update's finished, the machine's gonna automatically restart. And again, this is really important not to turn it off while it's being updated. And then you can see this is just gonna take you through. You can update from the settings screen. You'll press the wireless button and it will update automatically. But notice that there is also a USB thumb drive on here too. So that's another possibility. And you'll see right here, update procedure using a USB flash drive. So here's a drawing where you can see exactly how to insert the USB into your uh, scanning cup. But I want to point out this blue text here because I've done this wrong in the past. So the USB drive must be blank and contain no other files, okay? It has to only have the download file on it. And I'll show you where to get that update file in just one second. So you're gonna go ahead and just this time, instead of choosing the wireless, you'll go ahead and choose the USB and you'll update it the same way. And last but not least, okay, you can see that the machine can be connected to the computer with a USB cable in order to retrieve the update file from Canvas Workspace to update the machine. So if you already have your computer tethered to your scan and cut with a USB cable, this is perfect for it. And you can see it shows you exactly how from the help menu, you'll choose check for the latest scan and cut DX update. And then of course you'll update the machine. But let me show you exactly where to find that update file for a USB. So I'm gonna go back in my browser to the previous page. And remember, this was the frequently asked questions, okay? That was the frequently asked questions, but the tab next to it is downloads and drivers. So 
When you click on Downloads and Drivers, there's a little link here. Visit our Brother Solution Center to search for Downloads and Drivers. Yes, I want to do that. So I'm going to click through. And here, if you click on Downloads, but also notice Manuals, let's say you're looking for Manuals, or if you have more FAQs and troubleshooting questions and so on and so on, you can specifically look for support for your system. There's just a lot of stuff here to help you get what you want. So if you're looking for those Downloads, you can just click right here. You'll see that it says cutting machines. I'm looking for the SDX series. I have the 225. And you can see it's even detecting the system that I have. And once I hit search, it'll let me know what software is available. So right now it looks like there isn't any software available, but if there was, it would let me know. There'd be a button for me to download and I could go ahead and do that via USB thumb drive if I didn't want to do it wirelessly. One of the things that I love about Brother is that they're continually updating their software, addressing any customer complaints that come in on the customer service line, and the software updates often address those questions directly. So I hope that you will take a peek, see if there's an update for your machine, and go ahead and do it. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, please visit my blog at ballsordesigns.typepad.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com dot com.